Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to use the Altium PCB translator inside the Cadence PCB tools. So we can import translators Altium PCB. We get some basic options here. Um, there is a really useful help button here that would open up effectively a, a help PDF um, for the Altium PCB translator. So it talks about what we will translate, what the options are uses a PCB ASCII file or the PCB doc file so you'd have to generate file save as PCB ASCII file from within Altium. Um, then you've got some options about creating individual symbol definitions deriving the connectivity issues which effectively looks at this type of thing so if the pad or if the connect if the track doesn't terminate in the origin or the center point of the pad so in this scenario here you'll, you'll be left with like a connect line potentially and by running the derived connectivity it will automatically just add this little C line segment in to make the connectivity for you so it's worth I'll just having a stroll through uh, this document just to kind of get the options about what you need to do uh, before you run the translator once you're ready you then browse to the to the PCB doc file ASCII version uh, we'll create individual segments we'll derive connectivity uh, we'll just do let's do a standard one and see what it does and we'll click on translate so once the translator completes, there's our uh, our board. The only other thing I would I would probably normally do after I've imported a, a design, but I've run the check, database check. Um, let's just close the translator off. Enable the three options just to check the database integrity, just to make sure we haven't got any issues in the design. Uh, and you can view the log to just have a look to make sure you haven't got any issues. Then save the board and you're good to go with whatever with whatever you need to do with the design. 